A nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the souls of its people. These were words of Mahatma Gandhi, a great Indian leader. This saying resonates with the Ik tribe found in Karmoja region in the northern part of Uganda. The Ik written with just two letters means head of migration or the first ones who migrated. This relatively small tribe is on the border of Uganda and Kenya. The Ika largely believed to have originated from Ethiopia and first settled in Kenya before crossing into Uganda in the lowlands of Karamoja region. Seven districts make up Karamoja region. These include Kabong, Abim, Kotido, Moroto, Amdat, Napak, and Nakapiripiriti. This remote location has given the Karimajong an advantage from Western culture infiltration and relatively less media penetration. The Ik people dominate most of Kabong district. Kabong district is bordered by South Sudan in the northwest, Kenya in the northeast and the east, Moroto district in the southeast, Kotido district in the south, and Kitgum district to the west. It was a split from Kotido district in 2005. Now Kabong has a population of about 395,200 people. Deep in the magnificent hills of Karamoja region, several tribes, the Ik inclusive, call this home. 13 different tribes in Karamoja. Now, Karamojong really means uh, old and tired during migration of the Nilotic. When people were passing by, were crossing, some of them became tired on the way they could not proceed with the migration. So in actual sense, uh, they had to stay behind. But then, uh, the people who are called typical, typical, typical Karimojong, there are only four. There is the Matheniko of Moroto, the Bokora of Napak, the Nyakwai of the, of the eastern side of Abim, and the Peyane people. They are called typical Karimojong. But now, since we are inside Karimoja region, we are all called the Karimojong people. Born and raised in the region, Peter Apaja describes the wonders many don't know but are found in Karamoja. Karamoja is a very rich area, but it is not yet known. Karamoja has so far the world's oldest mountain, which is Mount Napak. Which Mount Napak is the only, the only oldest mountain which, uh, from which the history of man can be traced. It is 20 million years old. During the Karamoja Culture Festival, most of the tribes that make up the region participated in exhibiting their culture. The Ik were also in attendance. Uh, the Ik are located between these dominant groups of Uganda, that is the Karamoja from Uganda, Karamojong from Uganda side. On the other side of the border is the Turkana, another violent community of Kenya. And then on the northern side, we are neighboring the Toposa and the Redinga, also a violent, a violent a dominant group. The, all these people around are pastoralists. And right at their center is where you locate the Ik community. The Ik then, from that time when these dominant groups came closer, 
they each remain neutral. They are non-pastoralists, but still, they are friendly with the Turkanas of Kenya, they are friendly with the Sudanese of, of, of South Sudan and the Dinga, and they are friendly with the, the, those dominant group of the Uganda side. The pastoral nature of the tribes in Karmoja and the neighboring districts forced the Ik to live in the mountains on the border of Kenya in the Kidepo Valley National Park region of northeastern Uganda. John Mark Lomeri, who has lived and worked in the region as the district councillor, explains. The Ik people are a minority indigenous community believed to have been the occupants of the entire Karamoja, especially the northern Karamoja. Before even the pastoral communities came in, before the dominant groups of the Dodos, the Gie, the Masiniko, and then the rest, the Iko are said to have been the ones occupying the territory. So by the time these pastoral communities came in, they were harsh, violent, and the Ik were chased to the highlands, to the mountains, for, and they, of course they were fearful and they, they went to the mountains for their safety. And that's why you find them living in the mountains to this date. However, the hospitality never fades. When you get to Carbon District, a warm welcoming element from the Ik gets you. Their member of parliament, Hilary Ogwang, testifies to their hospitability. When you come to my place, if you come to my place, you come like any other person. Yeah, we are very kind, we are hospitable, people are welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> Their native language is Teuso. They are largely similar to other tribes in Karamoja. For example, the dress code does not change much, the traditional dance, food, and lifestyle. <laughs> This region is widely adapting to the development, like most parts of the country. However, still the poorly structured iron sheet houses hang in the slow modernized Eekland. Away from the Eek tribe, Karamoja region is gifted by nature with beautiful sceneries. The wide views of the cultivated mountain slopes and huts in most homesteads make a splendid observation. The huge rocks, curves and hills are perfect for climbing and several archaeological sites. The landscapes make it a must-visit destination for a safari and a perfect setting for nature lovers. You will find stunningly beautiful scenery the higher you climb. Now, Karmoja region gives a memorable experience that each and everyone should test. 